Okay, Richard, so we're about to embark on another Qatar Goodwood Festival. It's a meeting you've, as we've said, got a good good record in. Um, sadly, you were winless at Royal Ascot, but I'm sure you'll rectify that at Thanks Goodwood for telling this me, year. reminding me anyway. Come on, threat surely is going to be the one that's going get, to get you off the mark this year. Yeah, I think the right thing to do was to miss um, the July meeting. Yeah, Chris Richardson and was, was all behind that. He ran a super race at Ascot. I feel a little bit robbed, but I suppose yeah, we were beaten by a very good horse. and. He ran a very good race. He'd only come from a maiden to there. He was probably a little inexperienced, but he showed me that he was the horse we hope he is. And he's going to go, we've, we've targeted Goodwood, and we're either going to go to the six furlong on the Richmond or the seven furlong on Vintage. You know, we'll wait, wait and see. He'll definitely get seven furlongs. He was staying on very well at, at Ascot, and I th hope he's a very good horse. I mean, he's a horse you've always held in very high regard. He was impressive on, on debut at Newmarket. What is it that he shows you? Do, is, is it His attitude, the way he moves, you can see he's a little bit different when you see him out. Um, he's, he's physically, he's very strong and he looks very mature. Mentally, he's exactly the same. You know, he didn't turn a hair when he went racing. He doesn't turn a hair here. He's, he behaves like the, the good ones do. And we were just talking to Tony Gorman, actually. We've just seen him out in, in, the, in the grass, Pens, and he says he reminds him very much of sort of same build as, as Canford Cliffs. Would, would that be quite a fair assessment? Yeah, he's a different colour, <laughs> but yeah, he is. Build. Camford, I always, every time I went racing with them, I always looked at him and went, so with the racing saddle on, they look much bigger. I always thought, I should have done more with him. There's no way he can be fit. And he used to go there and he was plenty fit enough, but he just held on to his weight and threat does that as well. He's very, he's quite like Major Caddo. You know, he travels and, and he actually picks up. A lot of horses don't when they, when they travel exuberantly. If he runs at Goodwood and, and he wins, you're straight away going to get questions about do you feel he's a... He's a I do a feel he's a guineas horse, yeah. There we are, I was going to try and win get or Win or lose, I think he's a guineas horse. He, he, he looks all over a three-year-old. Mystery power, um, yeah. two from two. How much of a surprise was it for you that he won in the superlative? When he won first time, it didn't surprise me at all. You know, he won well. I didn't think he'd win. Well, I say that. He wouldn't have put him in the race if he didn't think he'd win or, or run very well. We, we hoped he was a good horse. His work has always been of a standard, nothing special. And when they go there and do that, I mean, he did it quite, to be honest, the hard way. He was up there in the band the whole way and quickened up and they, they all had a chance to beat him. And if anything, he's probably going away, going to the line. The second is a very good horse, I think they say. Um, and I see on TV, they said, uh, it might not have been the strongest superlative. I mean, why not? just because the normal, you know, the big sets of colours didn't win. You know, he's a very good horse and I think going into the race, they'd all, they'd all won very well on debut or, or had won going into the race and it would turn out to be a good race, I think. Um, we've got a couple of entries in, in the Lennox, which is a race you've, you've won with lots of Paco Boy and, and Strong Suit. Um, Tormore. Yeah, two more as well. Um, Urban Icon, oh, this is us and, and, and Watan. Are they, they possible for, for Goodwood? I think Urban Icon, we'll wait and see. Um, for me, he might have done, a, done plenty up till now. And we'll just lower our sights a bit and, and, and see if we can get a bit more out of him. Watan, he ran a super race in, in France. I thought he was going to run very well at one stage. He did run very well. I thought he was going to stay on and be fourth. Just got run out of fourth going to the line. Um, that was a seven furlong group one and won by a very good horse, champion two-year-old, etc. I do think that he might be a better horse next year when he develops a bit of a middle. For the, he has done very well this year. Um, that was by far his best run and there's a chance he might run in that, yeah. And funny enough actually, Watam won the maiden. Yeah, at, at the and he was about that wide. Year. You know, he's very narrow and he, all he's done is get, get wider, quite slowly, but he'll be a better horse next year. And, and it proves that his best run was his last run. And he's got a few entries at Goodwood, but he's definitely going to take up one of them because the, the meeting is sponsored by uh, Qatar. So they're very keen to have runners. Everybody is always also very keen to hear what other two roads you, you may be making, making their debuts there. Have you got any names, anything that you may be targeting towards, towards the meeting? I've got a very nice filly, funny enough, for Al Cab by Guy Tafan. Um, and I've got a cult that we think a lot of called Mum's Tipple. So don't slag me off if he gets beaten. He'll run very well. It is very competitive down at Goodwood nowadays. 
and you used to go there and win a maiden there like it was an ordinary maiden. Nowadays, it's as hard a maiden to win at Glorious Goodwood th than a listed race. Um, I think he's a very nice horse, and I think he'll be very competitive, um, and he could be a very nice horse for next year too. He, he could be anything, but when you go first time with a horse somewhere like that, you just don't know what you're bumping into. You don't know how he's going to deal with it. He was working very well early on and we just left him, left him just on the back burner and he's just coming good now. The owners love this meeting and they're very keen to go there with him. Would you send a different type of two-year-old to make its debut at Goodwood as you would rather than go to Ascot? Does it, does it horse have no. to sort of fit a, a different criteria? No, I think they're, all those, those top tracks, it's all the same. You know, Newmarket, Newbury, Ascot, um, Goodwood. Sorry, I'm bound to have missed one track out there. Sandown, you know. Um, you need decent horses to run in maidens. You could probably go and win a maiden at Bath or somewhere. Take a lot of nice horses to Salisbury. But if you can take part at Glorious Goodwood, the owners are like, yeah, yeah, I'm up for that. You know, it's, it's, it's a great place to go for, with a horse if you think you're good enough. I think Brett, we've got a lot of um, nice two rods this year for the, for the back end. But we will be represented, hopefully, quite strongly in the in the nurseries. There's always a very nice five furlong uh, nursery. I think there's a seven. You know, we've got a few that we've lined up. Don't worry, we're not that clever where we're going to have a big coup or anything. But we always send a few nice ones to the nurseries there. But then the, the nurseries, again, are very competitive now, way more competitive than they used to be. Um, so we've got a few chances in, in, in those as well. Okay, um, the Hans have won the Unibet Stewart's Cup, Stewart's Cup twice. Um, Notley back in 19 and Knight of Mercy in 91. You've got three entries this year. Um, Embo, he, he, he looked just really good on the gallops this morning, I thought. He did. Did he feel all right? He felt very well, yeah. <laughs> Carrying about 15 stone. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll tell you, he's, a, he's so consistent, Embo, isn't he? he, really he is. He's a gentleman. You know, he, d he had a very quiet year, his first year, had a few problems. He went to John Collins and he sorted him out completely. So we have to thank him. And he's just kept improving. He's won two races already this year. He's been placed. He was unlucky at us getting a big race the other day. He wouldn't have been the winner, but he could have been second, third or fourth, maybe. Um, and it might suit him, the Unibet Stewards Cup, because they'll go very quick. Um, and he's exactly that sort of horse that, that could run very well. But you could run very well and finish 14th. Um, it's that sort of race, very competitive. You don't know what side they're going to come. And that, the standard of races like the Stewards Cup, the handicaps, they're barely handicaps anymore because it's, if you're rated under 95, you, you're struggling to get in. And you, you used to be able to win these races, even at Royal Ascot, off, off 75. Uh, the Unibet Golden Mile, always another valuable um, handicap. You've got quite a few entries. Let, let's focus on perhaps your, your, what could be your main protagonist. Um, Beat Le Bon, who it took a long time for him to sort of show... Do I have to bore the Unibet viewers again about how much I like this horse? <laughs> they must be sick of listening to it. And he's just starting to pay us back now. He won very well at Goodwood. He fell in at um, Haydock last time with Pat Dobbs on. Everyone said, what a great ride he gave it. If it was a if the photo, it was the other way around. It would have been the worst ride of all time. But Dobbs, he gets on very well with him because he's very patient and doesn't get flustered. They'll go very quick. I'm hoping this horse is a group horse, which you need to be to win these handicaps nowadays. He's gone up. I think he won the big handicap at Goodwood earlier on in the year for about 95. He's now 104. He is improving, but his, the bar is being set higher and it, he needs to improve as he's carrying sort of nine pounds more now than he was then. He's only a three-year-old. Um, he's not for sale and we're keeping him next year, but hopefully. He can win a race like the Unibet Golden Mile. Um, oh, This Is Us has got loads of entries. He's in the Unibet yep. Golden Mile as well. Is it possible for him there or are you going to stick to He's my favourite. He's a star. I'll speak to the guys that own him. I think he's better off going around those big meetings and, and stepping off somewhere else when all the others... I think that's his, his game. You know, he's below that Group 2 sort of thing. He's getting older, but he never runs a bad race. He always comes home from the race course with money. They've had such fun with him. I'd love to run him at Goodwood, but in the handicaps, he's probably carrying too much weight. And in the group twos, they're just a little bit too good. So he's sort of between a rock and a hard place, and you might be better off going off for a, for a listed race somewhere quiet. You had a great July festival. Um, Walk in the Sand was, was one of your winners there on the card for, for Side to Hell. Um, might he head to Goodwood? 
every chance. He's just coming good, that horse. And funny enough, if Sai Sahel had said to Rod, you'd be handy and you, you send him three out. And Ryan sort of looked at me and I was, he said, I think I'll drop him in. <laughs> when he went out there and he did exactly that, near the front, two and a half out, kicked him and, and, and won well. He definitely gets a mile and a quarter, you can see that. And we've sort of been, he's bummed into some very good horses in listed race, things like that, in the year up till now. And he looked good to me the other day. I think they put him up four or five pounds. So he might need to improve. If it's too much, we'll go back into listed races. But he's definitely going the right way and probably want to be on the right side of. Anna Nerium, she maybe likes a little bit of cut, but she's got good form at, at Goodwood, hasn't she? She doesn't need that cut as much as people think. She's won at Epsom on pretty quick ground. So although it slows the others up, it doesn't inconvenience her, but I don't think she needs it. Um, there are races there for her, but uh, if they get rain in, in Deauville, I'd be very tempted to go to the Ross Charles. Your Guinness winner, Beals and Brooke, um, got her head back in front at Chelmsford on her penultimate start, just touched off at Ponty last time, yeah. but um, she goes well at Goodwood as well, doesn't she? She does, and you know, I, th I would think one of them will probably turn up at probably the Oak Tree or something like that. Um, Bills and Brooke, ha I think they've both won group races at Goodwood, so it's a nice choice to have. Um, she's coming back to somewhere near her best now, Bills and Brooke. She's got no penalties, and it's nice to see her run, you know, winning as it's important that she does. I think it's important for the game full stop that the Guineas winners like her come back and if you do keep them in training, they come back and, and win races. And she's got, she's got her confidence back now. We moved her from this yard down to Everly and she's loved that. A change is as good as a rest. Um, I, th I think they're both in good nick. We've had a couple of um, people email questions in. One of them was, which was we were going to ask it anyway, uh, your Qatar Goodwood Festival nap and best each way. I would say there's a load there with hopefully with good chances. I really like Mum's tipple for the maiden and Threat, Beat Le Bon. These are all horses that I've bought you with before. You know, um, if one of the fillies, Bilston Brook or Ananerium, run in the in the. Uh, I was going to say the Royal Oak, but that's the pub up the road, isn't it? <laughs> it's called the uh, Oak Tree. The Oak Tree, sorry. Yeah. Um, what a faux pas that was. Um, it's very hard down there, but I would think they would be my my best chances. If I ha He's a good horse threat. Mystery power. He always runs about 15 pounds out of what you're, you think you're expecting. If he runs the same race down there, he, he's going to take a lot of beating. I don't really want them to clash, but sometimes they belong to different people. Although they go and get the same lorry as each other to the races, they're owned by different people, so sometimes they have to.